I'm told Piedmont Noonan, like many hospitals, began the pandemic with a nurse shortage. The problem has only become worse over the past year, and now emergency help is needed. We're at 128% of our capacity, and the only thing that's preventing us from expanding any more truly is lack of nurses. Piedmont Noonan Chief Medical Officer Dr. Robert Miller says today Piedmont Noonan asked Governor Brian Kemp to deploy National Guard medics to Noonan. Miller says the request was granted and an unknown amount of medics could arrive as early as Friday. But we really need sort of medics to help triage the people in the emergency room, to help start IVs, check vital signs, and just you know, we're backed out into our waiting room of our emergency room. Earlier this week, Kemp ordered the deployment of 105 medically trained guard personnel to hospitals throughout the state. There are people that were, were not currently in that environment. There are people that are coming back from other tours of duty uh, that haven't gone back to work yet that are available to assist in the hospital setting. From Savannah to Albany and around the Atlanta metro, those medics are already at 10 hospitals. Piedmont Noonan will now become at least the 11th. Miller says compared to the last COVID wave in January, critically ill patients are up 26 percent. Patients on ventilators up 76 percent. And most COVID patients are younger at 18 to 39 years old. 96 percent are unvaccinated. Roughly 3.8 percent of patients that we're seeing that that were breakthrough infections are in people with, with multiple what we call comorbidities, other medical problems. The surge in cases putting a pause on elective surgeries at Piedmont Noonan. Emergency surgeries are still being handled, though, as well as time-sensitive cases. And Dr. Miller tells me he's hopeful over the next few weeks their patient levels will start to drop down.